I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a coral reef and also a coral reef at risk. I take three fingers right here at the top in the center and I put a dot. And from that dot I'm just going to draw wavy wavy line down, wavy wavy line over, wavy wavy line up, and connect. Inside I'm just going to mimic the lines I drew dividing them up into two. Now what you have to remember is a coral reef is made up of a lot of thousands of animals that are all grouped together. So these are all animals. They're not plants. They look like they are, but they're not. Come over to the left and let's put a dot. And we're going to draw a curve line up, in, up, in, up, in, up, in, out, in, out, in, connect. All of these are animals. We're going to come down a little bit and put a dot. Now we're going to draw a curve line up, down, out, in, out, in, down, up, out, in, out, in, out, in, connect. From this point, now we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line out, wavy, wavy line over, wavy line up, leave it floating. Come back in, let's mimic this line again, wavy line out, down, up, leave it floating. Right next to the floating line that I'm going to connect now, I just put a dot and I draw wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, connect. I'm building my coral reef. Now I come down and put a dot and I draw straight diagonal up, down, up, down, up, down, up, in, out, in, out, connect. Right next to that I'm going to draw straight diagonal up, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, and leave that floating. We're building our coral and it doesn't really matter, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line up, if yours looks different because that's the way the coral is. They're all different. Mimic those lines again. Come down below, wavy line up, connect. Come down below, wavy line up, connect. Now as I move my way over, I'm going to draw, put a dot, and we're going to draw a curve line up, out, in, out, in, over, connect. Now we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy line up, connect, wavy line down, up, connect. So you can see we're starting to build up. Now, on this side, towards the right, I'm going to do overlaps. Curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, curve line, keep going, up, up, over, connect. Now, I continue my wavy lines, out, over, and I come all the way over to the right-hand side, and now I'm going to start connecting this wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line. I would do this in two sessions. We're going to draw first, talk a little bit, then I would color second session. But it's all wavy lines, interlocking spaces, and what you have to remember is that all of these wavy, wavy, wavy lines connect, wavy line, wavy line, wavy line connect, are animals. They look like plants, but they're not. They're animals. Now I come up and moving towards the right, let's do a giant curve line, curve line, curve line, up, 
up, curve line out, out, connect, come down here, big curve line out, up, 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 out, out, connect. And you got to remember, these are habitats for little fish to hide out from predators. They're very important ecosystem, but they're also very fragile. Now I'm just going to draw wherever I have a space, a wavy, wavy line connect and a wavy, wavy line connect inside. Then I'm going to draw another wavy, wavy line connect because that fits this space. And if I want to add some curved line, curved lines, connect, go ahead. And now we're going to do probably the most important part. Come over here and let's just add some curved line, curved lines. But I'm going to take four fingers, and right here I'm going to put a dot. And from that dot, this is super important, I'm going to draw a wavy, wavy line right through my coral reef. On the left-hand side, we're going to color a healthy coral reef. On the right-hand side, littler, we're going to color a coral reef that is in trouble. Very fragile. It's at risk. Okay, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the fun part about this project is if you can pick tropical colors for your crayons, you can have fun coloring it all in. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my blue-green and I am going to add my tropical water. One of the biggest the Great Barrier Reef is in Australia, but we have one in Florida here in the United States. But I'm just going to draw in my water because it's all underneath, under the sea. Okay? Once I've done my dark lines, I come in and I lightly loop-de-loop -loop around my coral. Now, like I said, the coral is all made up of thousands and hundreds of little tiny animals that it takes almost a certain length of time for them to grow big enough to really make these kinds of reefs. So it's not a, a process that takes overnight. It takes years. And what's happening is, is that naturally human beings are destroying it through pollution and other man-made horrible things that we've done to our oceans. And it's just because it's a very big ecosystem. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's very easy to think that we have all of the, the time in the world to deal with it, and we don't. This has become a real problem. So, first you do your dark blue-green turquoise lines, then do your loop-de-loop. -loop. Okay. Now, you may pick any combination of colors you want. I went with pink, because it's very tropical when you look underneath the... You can Google Great Barrier Reef and it'll show you. And so what I did was, like I always do, I take a color and I work it through my drawing so that it's balanced color-wise. So I started out with pink, did some of this pink. You are not going to color anything on this far right. You're only going to color what's on the left. And one of the other things I do, I'll show you towards the end, but I'm going to go ahead and put pink on top, middle, bottom. Okay? Now the other color I used, I used yellow. So I'm just coloring in spaces that I want. There's no rhyme or reason. You need to color around your coral because all of this is part of the reef and all of it is animals. So I'm going to go ahead and use yellow. Then I used orange. I think this is my regular orange. And again, I'm balancing out my colors. I'm using tropical colors, but you may use any colors you want. See, there's no wrong or right reason on doing this. You may use any color combos you want. 
But like I said again, and I'll reinforce this, let's just color the right hand side with color, the uh, I mean, sorry, the left hand side with color, the right hand side we're going to leave alone. I use tropical colors, you may make up your own color palette. You are the artist. Next I used my yellow green, came in and did some of these. Now all of these are hiding places for little fish, for other sea animals to stay away from predators, sharks, what have you. Now see on this big one, because my line, my wavy line, goes right through it. One side is going to be colored in. The other side we're going to leave alone. I'll show you why in a minute. And as you can see, I'm just filling in all my spaces with color. There is no right nor wrong way of doing this. Pick the colors you like and just go for it. That's why I would take time out to do this in a couple of sessions. Next I'm using red violet and if you do google the corals you will see they're just an abundance of color. It's amazing. So I'm filling this all in with my red violet. Like I said you can use your own colors but this whole part needs to be pretty solid. Next, I come in with my red orange. And, oops, let's do this. And you can also color darker. I'm not coloring as dark as I should. Now I'm going to come in and fill in with my red orange. Now what I did in order to not make myself crazier than I already am is that I went ahead and used all my colors that I had chosen. I stop, I look at it, and now I see, you know, I could use some yellow down here. So I come in with my yellow. You can double color also. You can double color. That will heighten the look and fill in your spaces. Okay? Now, this to the left is a healthy coral reef. Now, to the right, Get a gray, get a black, get a brown, and loop-de-loop, -loop, whoops, loop-de-loop -loop the whole entire coral on the right-hand side. We are killing the coral. They bleach out. It's almost like somebody poured bleach and all the color is gone and what you end up with is nothing but gray bony color, white, bleached out coral, which means you just killed all of these little animals. Okay? So this is the, le the right hand side. Left hand side is in color. This represents an ecosystem in trouble. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my coral reef all colored in. It's a fragile ecosystem. Remember, this right-hand side is the part at risk. And it's basically overfishing, ocean pollution, and climate change, warming temperatures. Got to save our oceans. Okay, bye-bye.